Recently, I installed several of these log birdhouses with a canal in River Trust in the Doncaster area. So keep on watching and I'll show you how to make two different types. Now obviously this starts with a log and this one is an old cherry tree that I found down my dad's woodyard. In fact, you might remember from a few months back that the innard became a DIY bird table. The first one I'm gonna show you though is me cutting a top for a lid then a disc further down for the bottom, leaving a good size in between for the actual birdhouse. And everyone down my dad's woodyard said I was mad to handsaw, I'd be there all day. But I find this more therapeutic and safer than a chainsaw. Although I did find it quite difficult to cut in a straight line, but there's no harm in having a slope for any rain to drip off. Then another disc that would be later screwed to the bottom Although a heads up, I didn't actually use that bit in the end. I'll talk you through that in a minute. You can drill holes with an auger drill bit and that's what my plan was gonna be. However, for quickness, I ended up removing the center with a mortise and tenon machine. This smelled beautiful, like cherry Bakewell tarts. And the reason I didn't need the second disc for the base in the end is because I didn't go all the way through it. It will be slightly jagged, so I had to remove as much as I could. For the birdhouse hole, I used a 25mm flat wood drill bit. Now, if you are new to this, the different sizes will dictate the types of birds you attract. I'm not an expert, I just quickly went on the internet for a search. Again, more cherry bakewell smells. Lovely. Once I've created the access hole, I drilled and screwed the lid on top. And whilst I'm doing that, I'd like to take a moment to thank my patrons for their continued support in helping me create free tutorials each week. If you'd like to join the community for exclusive content and updates, then you're more than welcome. Done. The second idea that I had was to cut four sides off, leaving a square innard. And I was gonna do this by hand, but because I had a whole log I'll admit, my dad did do this on an industrial size bandsaw. If you're not making six of them out of this, you can absolutely do it by hand. And the idea is to put it back as log again by pre-drilling and screwing those four side pieces together. But make sure you don't go on too much of an angle where you accidentally catch that square piece. Yes, that caught me out a couple of times. You live, you learn. Then, once the four sides are fixed, you can remove the centre. I did have to be careful though where I placed my screws, so by the time I'd cut it into six, I knew I'd have enough per house. And exactly the same as before, I drilled the excess hole. This method just generally gave a cleaner finish on the inside, but obviously just pick what you feel comfortable with. On this occasion, with it having a hollow bottom, I decided to reuse that squared innard and screw from the bottom sides. And because there was another cherry tree log there as well, I had that ripped down and used them as roofs. And I love this idea because it naturally gave protection from the bark and the curve for any rain to run off. And each one is unique in its own way. So now I've got seven log birdhouses, it's time to hang them up. You could use offcuts screwed to the back, as I'll show you with the canal and river trust. You can tell from the base how deep you're allowed to go. Sometimes where it was sheltered would use a one piece, or you could screw an L shape for added support, and even an additional angled support for extra strength. Then mount it to a wooden surface with screws or drill and new plugs in masonry. Or how about a tree? We also avoided south facing spots so the birds wouldn't get too hot, but that also meant terrible lighting for my camera to pick up. Nothing really beats looking out for them in person and you can find them at the following locations using what three words? Barnby Dunn Lift Bridge, 
Long Sandal Lock, Doncaster Lock, Sprotbra Lock, Mexbra Low Lock and Thorn Lock. 